the serious music though. I just wanted to style it out a bit. Seen as it is so important and a bit trickier I guess. So what are you going to show me? In this video, I want to show you what the secondary storage, processor and main memory are doing when you open a program. The processor fetches instructions one by one and data from main memory to execute the program's commands. The program code and data are stored in secondary storage and are loaded from the secondary storage to the main memory aka RAM. The CPU decodes and executes each instruction. The resulting data goes back into the main memory. If the CPU needs to access more program code or data not currently in RAM, it will request it from the secondary storage. New and modified data can be written back from main memory to secondary storage. For example if RAM is getting short of space. Help others learn from this video like I did. What if I want to know more? The casing for the RAM chips is made of plastic, but the actual chips themselves aren't. The RAM chips are made of silicone. The memory cells in these three RAM sticks have tiny capacitors and transistors capable of holding an electric charge which cleverly represents the bits of data stored temporarily in RAM. What if I can't remember all that? Well, there's the booklet which I'll link in the description. But remember that the processor is the computer's brain, and it performs all the calculations and instructions necessary for the computer to function. The processor communicates with the main memory and secondary storage to access the data to carry out these instructions. Remember RAM is volatile, so the contents are lost when the computer is switched off.